Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we are going to have a discussion of the UGC NET examination question paper and the subject is here English literature. And in the for the English literature question paper, we'll discuss here the paper three and the year of the question paper 2014. So we will have a discussion of 2014 question paper of English paper three UGC NET examination. Let's begin it. So friends, this is a question paper of English, paper 3, 2014 uh, question paper, English literature. You can see the difference here. The paper 2 consists the 50 marks and here paper 3 consists here 75 marks. Paper 2 has the weightage of 100 marks and paper 3 has the weightage of 150 marks. So let's begin it here and the question paper, sorry, the question number 1. So the question number one, we could not answer because the grace marks was provided. If you have the answer of this question, you can write in the comment box. Now, the question number two, here are some characteristics of morality play. Which are the characteristics of morality plays? They are dramatized allegories of the life of a man. They depict men's temptation and signing, sorry, sinning, his quest for salvation and his confrontation with death question number three question number three in spencer's re fairy queen there are the allegorized moral and religious virtues with their counterparts in the vices so we need to find the vices here una's vices here una's vices truth and uh, guion temperature uh, sorry temperance then uh, dusa Deceit and Orgoglio. Orgoglio. Orgoglio's one is here. Pride. Question number four. Fop at the toilet, flatter at the board, now trips a lady and now struts at load. A lot. The above lines have appeared from Alexander's, Alexander Pope's famous poem, Epistle to Dr. Arbuthnot. These lines are from Alexander Poems, Alexander Pope's famous poem, Epistle to Dr. Arbuth Not. Arbuth Not. Now, question number five. Which of the following arrangement is in the chronological sequence? Every man in his humor, the shoemaker's holiday, Antonius' revenge, and the changeling. Now let's find out the author of those works. Every man in his humor written by it's a play by Ben Johnson. Shoemaker's Holiday, it's a play by Thomas Decker. Antonio's Revenge, it's a play by John Marston. And Change, uh, sorry, Changeling, it's a novel by Victor Lavalle. Now the question number six. Though Coleridge refers to motive hunting for a motiveless malignity, the human villain Iago is far from motiveless. His motives are he has been disappointed of military promotion. He suspects Othello of uh, holding, holding him. Then first and second are correct. Let's move to next question is here. The prologue, in the prologue to Dr. Foster's, the chorus proposes that the theme should be cursed necromancy or self-conceit. The center of his plays is a proud character of Marlowe's model with a bold license in speech and action, full of elaborate metaphors, phrase tumbling after phrase. As he asserts himself in the French court, Dryden unjustly described his, his style as a dwarfish thought dressed up in a gigantic words. Who is this Jacobian playwright? George Chapman. George Chapman is the Jacobin playwright mentioned here. Question number nine. In Paradox, in Paradise Lost, BK 11, sorry, BK 9, Milton writes that Adam was overcome with female charge, sorry, female charm, and so he ate the forbidden fruit against the better knowledge. So Adam was overcome with the female charm, and so that ate the forbidden fruit against his better knowledge. Question number 10. In which poem of John Donne 
is the lover's face can be seen in the eyes of his beloved that is good morrow good morrow is the name of the particular poem by john dunn where the lover's face can be seen in the eyes of the beloved now moving to question number 11 question number 11 we need to uh, match here the dramatist in the place so if you see here the orphan or the unhappy marriage written by thomas otway thomas otway the country wife written by william uh, william wisherly then uh, the provoked husband written by collie sibber then the recruiting officer written by george farquhar now we are moving to next question. Though wast no born for death immortal bird. So in what sense the bird immortal is as compared to mortal man? The word bird stands for the nightingale's, nightingale's song. Or the bird is a immortal because the songs of the birds have given pleasure to men through the ages. So now next moving to question number 13. Coleridge, the rhyme of the ancient mariner is a poem in how many sections? It's a poem in seven parts. Coleridge, the rhyme of the ancient mariner. It's written in the seven parts. Scott. Scott is known for the creation of mad, irrational, witch-like women characters and from the following uh, list we need to pick out the odd one so it's here euphemia deans euphemia deans now joseph edison called him the miracle of the present uh, present age so who is that person a uh, uh, miracle of the present age for the same person alexander pope wrote the epitaph for the monument erected in his memory who is he isaac isaac newton that's isaac newton where for whom Edison called in the miracle of the present age. The play was first performed in 1773. The author asked a friend, did it make you laugh? And getting the answer exceedingly, what is the answer? Exceedingly, said then what was all he required he used for plot, a reputed experience of his own as a schoolboy when he lost his way and asked to be directed to an inn, but was shown the gateway to the local squire's house. So which play was this? This was a play by Goldsmith, and the title is here, She Stoops to Conquer. She Stoops to Conquer. Now we are moving to question number 17. What is Johnson's opinion regarding the violation of the three unities in the plays of Shakespeare? So Johnson says that Shakespeare followed the important unity of action satisfactorily. Unity of time and place arise from false assumptions. Then the Tetler, the journal Tetler appeared three times a week, which are those days, Tuesday, two, Thursday, four, and Saturday, six. So two, four, six, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So 19, no man is truly great. Who is great only in his lifetime? The test of greatness is the page of history. Nothing can be said to be great that has a distinct limit or that borders on something evidently greater than himself, itself. Besides, what is short-lived and pampered into more notoriety is of a gross and vulgar quality in him in itself. This passage describes the quality of greatness and is taken from William Hazlitt, famous essay, The Indians, The Indian Jugglers. Very interesting essay, The Indian Jugglers. Now, question number 20. In Black's poem, The Human Abstract, the fragmented world of experience is symbolized in the image of fruit of deceit. Fruit of deceit. Now we are moving to the question number 22. Match the following titles of the books with the authors. Psychology and Art, written by W.H. Auden. Revolution in Writing, written by Dale Lewis. Lewis. Coming Struggle for Power, written by John 
uh, strategy John Stretchy, then Arrow in the Blue, written by Arthur Colster. Arthur Arthur Colster, uh, sorry, Arthur Arthur Costler. Then next question. George Meredith's first novel, which was banned by Moody's circulating library for its supposed moral of offense, which one? The Ordeal of Richard Forever. Sorry, The Ordeal of Richard Feverell. Now we need to match here Tennyson's poem with the description, with, with the opening lines. So we have here the first option we can say uh, Tythonus. Tythonus starts with this line The woods decay, the woods decay, the woods decay, the woods decay and fall. The vapors weave the burden, the burden to the ground from Tythonus. The lotus eaters. Lotus eaters begins with line Courage, he said, and pointed towards the land. The mounting wave will roll us shoreward soon sure what soon now now the next next is here um, next is here on either side of the river lie long fields of barley or of rye it's written by whom uh, it's it comes in the poem uh, so it comes in the poem title the lady of shallot and the last one from Tennyson's ulysses and this poem begins with it little professed that an idle king by the still hearth among these barren crags, matched with an aged wife, I meet and dole unequal laws into a savage race. So like this, you may be asked some important poets, poems, which begins with some famous lines. So now we are moving to the question number 25. Why are Elizabeth Barrett Browning's sonnets called from sonnets from the from sonnets from the Portuguese? Why they are called from sonnets from the Portuguese? Because Elizabeth Barrett Browning presented it under the guise of a under the guise of a translation from Portuguese language. Now we have next question. W. B. Yeats' famous poem setting to Byzantium. Regenerating the art and the culture that existed in Byz in Byzantium. She had, she had, uh, Rossetti's the blessed demoiselle in her hand and the stars in her hair. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Question number twenty-seven. She had three lilies in her hand, and the stars in her hair were seven. So three lilies and seven stars. Now, from which poem these lines appear? These lines appear from uh, Rossetti's. The Blessed Demoiselle. Rossetti is the Blessed Demoiselle. It's a poem. Now, which of the following arrangement is the correct arrangement as far as the chronological sequence is concerned? Wuthering Heights, next Willet, North and South, Adam Beat. So these are the popular or the correct sequence. Now, in which of the following novels by Joseph Kenrod do the Gould couple and Decode couple appear appear as characters with with Castagona as the setting. Which of the novels? That is Nostromo. Nostromo. Now what is Nostromo? Nostromo is a tale of seabird 1904 novel written by Joseph Conrad and set in the fictitious South American Republic of Costaguana. Now we are moving to next question. We need to match the plays and the authors. Heartbreak. Heartbreak written by George Bernard Shaw. Uh, Loyalties written by John Glassworthy. In the Jungle of Cities written by Bertel Brecht. Then The Family Reunion written by T.S. Eliot. Next question number 31. In November, nine, November 1910, there was an exhibition organized by Roger Fry, Roger Fry, and it was an exhibition of the painting of three painters which were displayed. And who are those three painters? Uh, Zane, Van Gogh, Genuine. These are the three, three, uh, 
painters now there's another famous book is here uh, phaedra phaedra the wife of theseus commits suicide by hanging herself answer is here her stepson hippopolitus rejected her love question number 33 identify the poet in whose verse rural ulster figures prominently and the poet name is here seamus henny now question number 34 alexander authors in the works alexander dumas the count of monte cristo honor d balzac has written the human comedy then gustav flaubert has written the madam bovary bovary then marcel proust has written the first one remembrance of the things past question number 35 which of the following statements best applies to anna karenina karenina among her most prominent qualities are her passionate spirit and determination to live life on her own terms she is a victim of russian patriarchal society anna is developed anna is deeply devoted to her family and children now moving to the question number 37 36 let's match those authors and their works so we have here the work is here um lolita lolita is written by vladimir then the another one we have here if on a winter's night a traveler it's written by italo then forkolds forkolds pendulum written by umberto eco and the last one germinal written by emily zola emily zola so these are the authors and their works so moving to question number 37 which play by aristophanes is an attack on modern education and morals as imparted and taught by the radical intellectuals known as sophist so which play the play name is here clouds the play name is here clouds written by sophist then question number 38 in which novel of virginia wolf does a painter in the act of painting actually figures figure as a character that is to the lighthouse to the lighthouse religious controversies in england particularly during the 15th century led to the promotion of english prose question number 40 uh, fill out the blanks in his fiction Ian McEwan more than often suggest the fragility of love it suggests the fragility of love now let's again match the dramatist from the plays so roots written by anol wesker the room written by harold pinter then uh, what the butler saw written by jo jo alton jumpers written by tom stoppard so question number 42 modern english emerged from the east midland dialect most most culinary most most culinary culinary terms culinary term in english are french cooking they are they are derived from derived from french cooking question number 44 blended learning is a mode of instructional or learning in which a variety of instructional modes are integrated question 45 risk taking is one of the traits of a good language learner 46 a teaching method advocated by dr georgia lozneau which is based on the principle of joy and easiness is called as the suggestopedia 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 albert camus in his essay the myth of sisyphus the myth of sisyphus conveys it conveys the it conveys the absurdity of human existence the futility of all human endeavor the concept of existentialism existentialism now 
question number 48 the portrait of a lady gilbert osborn marries isabel archer becomes so this answer is not given we are moving to next question if you know the answer kindly write in the comment box it's a mutual learning pick out the two relevant and correct descriptions of anant murthy's samskara so this novel is a satire on the representatives of a decadent brahmin society samskara is a regional novel question number now 50 willy in arthur miller's play death of a salesman compares biff biff it's actually bliff and happy to the bliff and happy to the mythical characters so who are those mythical characters adonis and hercules adonis and hercules so now we have about uh, 15 13 to 15 questions which are taken from the unread poem or the unread unseen passage so from question number 51 to 55 you have the questions from a poem by john dun a valediction forbidding mourning the poet says my swirling wands your your frozen lips the grammar turned and attacked me themes written under tears emptiness of the notations they gave me a drug that slowed the healing of wounds i want you to see this before i leave they experience repetition as death the failure of criticism to locate the pain the post in the bus that said my bleeding is under control a red plant is cementry of plastic wreaths a last attempt the language is a dialect called metaphor these images go unglossed hair glacier flashlight when i think of landscape i'm thinking of a time when i talk uh, taking a trip i i mean forever i could say those mountains have a meaning but further than i could not say to do something very common in my own way in my own way so these these are the these are the lines here now based on the lines we have about six questions five questions question number 1 how does the poet suggest that the lover has not left the answer is here the words before i leave suggest that the speaker has not left yet why does the speaker lover in the rich case i'm sorry why does the speaker or lover in in a rich poem rich poem plan to leave so because her love has not been returned because of the pain she has suffered in the relationship because of the lover has criticized her so much question number 13 what does rich imply when she says the grammar turned and attacked me that means language that has been used to hurt her the pain she has herself herself inflicted through language now question number 54 from the from the poem how would you compare rich poem and duns poem with the same title rich is recreating duns poem now what is the theme of the poem still i am looking for this question uh, answer so answer is here a classical love poem it's a classical love poem it's a classical love poem like duns where the speaker dominates the addressee now the question number 56 how does grish kannad base his play hayavadna on thomas mann's transposed heads it's a mock heroic transcription of the original sanskrit tales now question number 56 57 the collected poems of ak ramanujan has been divided into four sections so ak ramanujan's poems are in four sections which are those four sections the striders the relations second side black hen so the first one is the striders second one is the relations third one is here second side and the fourth one is here the black hen in one of her novels margaret atwood demonstrated the potentially cannibalistic nature of the human relationship that is 
Margaret Mar- 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 Atwood has mentioned this one in a famous work, The Edible Woman. In a famous novel, The Edible Woman. Now match the characters with the novel of Amita Ghosh. So Fakir can be seen in The Hungry Tired. Tridip can be seen in Shadow Lines. Rajkumar can be seen in The Glass Palaces. And Murugan, this character can be seen in the Kolkata chromosome. Now, let's move to the next question is here. Question number 60. Which of the following is not a play by Badal Sarkar? Agra Bazar. Agra Bazar is not written by Badal Sarkar. Badal Sarkar has written Bhuma, Ivam, Indrajit and the other history. Question number 61. Who is the protagonist of Shashi Deshpande's The Long Silence? Who is the protagonist? Jaya. Jaya is the protagonist in Shashi Deshpande's The Long Silence. In Drake Walcott's Dream on Monkey Mountain. I'm sorry. In Drake Walcott's Dream on Monkey Mountain. Mackek's vision of freedom for his people is through a decolonization of the mind. Now, question number 63. Moving to question number 64. Again, we need to assertion and reason. We can go through the answer. Now, 65, you need to match with the authors in the works. Uh, Bushi, Bushi Amesheta, Bushi Amesheta has written Joy of Motherhood. Emma Atta Aidu, written by Hazitan, our sister Kelly Joy, and Nadine Gaudimer, Hazitan, Burgess, daughter, and Kugi Wo Thionge, Hazitan, Devil on the Cross. Devil on the Cross. Now, question number 66. You need to 66 once again. Uh, authors in the place, Langston Hercks has written, Don't You Want to Be Free? Lauren Hansberry has written, Clara's Old, Clara's Old Man. Then uh, It Bullions, It Bullions has written, Don't You Want to Be Free? Amiri Bakra has written, Dutchman. So these are the authors in the place. Now we need to identify the critics and their, their respective works. Horace is a critic of Ars Poetica. Aristotle, critics of Poetica. Quantilium, po- critic of Institu- Instituto Oratoria. Ben Johnson is a critic of Discoveries. Sydney is a critic of Apology, is a critic of Apology for Poetry. Dryden is the critic of an essay of dramatic poesy. Now, question number 68. Imagist moment. Just a brief information. The Imagist, they are like a scientist. The image, sorry, uh, which is not. The Imagist, like a scientist, learns from the history and uses it. No, it's wrong information. What is the correct information about Imagist? The poet spreads his language across the page as though language were sensation to reproduce the mental effect of image. The image is itself an instrumental of vision or lens as well as as expression of imagination. Next, the new artist as scientist focuses vision through which image as against a symbol which resorts to reduction to simplicity. Now, who are the Imagist moment poets? Amy Lowell, T.S. Eliot, F.S. Flint, Hilda Doolittle, James Joyce, William Carlos, then or, uh, William Carlos. Okay. Then John, John Gold Fletcher and Ford Maddox Ford. So these are the these are the authors of Imagist Moment. Now we are moving to question number 69. Who among the following uh, is not a myth critic? Raymond Williams. Raymond Williams is not a myth critic. That means Robert Graves, 
Francis Ferguson and Northrop Frye Fry is the myth critic. So question number seventy. According to Northrop Frye Frye, according to Northrop Frye, there are four main narrative genres associated with the seasonal cycle of spring, summer, autumn, winter, and they are comedy, romance, tragedy, and irony. Comedy, romance, tragedy, and irony. Now, this is a now this is the passage, and based on the passage, you can go through this passage and you can answer the questions based on the passage. You can pause the video, and you can get the answers based on the based on those and uh, this passage. So five marks passage, unseen passage in five marks, not unread poem, which you have not read. So these are the questions from the passage. So you can go through it. You can pause the video. So friends, this is how I have tried to solve the paper three of UGC NET English Literature Examination of 2014. And these answers are based on the answer key provided by UGC, the courtesy UGC website. So thank you so much for watching this video. Stay in tuned with Mukesh English for more videos.